Today, I am going to be showing you how to build a redstone based shopping system that is also tileable. So it means you can put each redstone system next to each other and it won't affect each other, which is quite useful for this sort of machine. So I'm going to be showing you how it works and also how to build it. Now the item list will be in the description below so you can go check that out now. If you want to move on to the tutorial then you can use the timestamps to get to that bit if you don't care about the explanation of how it works and everything like that. So now I'm going to move on to the explanation so get ready. So first of all you need to make sure that the player understands what to do so I advise having like a lectern with the explanation on how to use the actual machine itself. Because like this can be quite confusing, like it's got a bunch of buttons and it might be quite confusing for someone who doesn't know what this machine is. So make sure to have a lectern with like a book and quill or something that will explain how to use this machine. And then I've got a row of items with like different prices. You can pretty much do any price you want, it doesn't have to be an odd or even number. It can be any price you want, that's why I like this machine so much. And it can do be really expensive items, like you could do like 200 diamonds or 200 diamond blocks even. That's why I like this machine quite a lot, because like you've got a lot of choice of that sort of stuff. And this machine just makes it easier too, and it's also tileable. So that also adds up to making it 10 times better. So this machine, so first bit is this top bit here. So as you can see, what this does if you're not sure, so I'll do an example. So this is off right now, so just pretend that I want to buy a pig egg. So if I get 14 diamonds, There we go, 14 diamonds. I place it into this dropper. As you can see, it's not exiting out of this dropper. So now when I press this button, so I'm actually gonna buy an item. So I'm gonna buy a pig egg. So when I press this button, the item, will, the diamonds will start exiting out. And then the payment will be processed by the machine. And I'll get my pig egg, which is definitely what I wanted. So that's how the machine that's how the machine actually works. It's quite quick actually. With bigger with more expensive items it does take a little bit longer, but not too long. Because it needs to process. So this is a T flip flop setup here, so you've got this outputting into this T flip flop. Then you've got the pistons here. I use a I use a redstone torch and a block because it's cheaper. Even though it can be a little bit less compact, but it's definitely cheaper. And that's what you want in survival Minecraft. And you've got the same setup here, and that locks this hopper. And then I've also got a, a sort of lamp set up here, so it turns it on when this machine is ready to deliver all the items down to the sorting system. So I turn this off, it will move this lamp back. And it will put, put this block back where it is, locking this hopper. So that's how this system works, now I'm going to go through the next bit. Okay, so now next is the sorting system, so as you can see I've got barrels here. So you've got the sorting system here, so in these barrels, if someone's chucked in a random item, so you can collect that random item, and it's kind of just to stop the hopper from being like overflow with stuff like that. So if you replace these with hoppers, it also uses up extra iron and also can like flood the whole system. So if we use these barrels, it means that if people like chuck tons of items in here, it's not going to overflow too quickly. So that's why we have this sort of setup here with a barrel. Now onto the next bit. So. We've got a simple item sorting system, so I put 41 items in here. So that's just a basic item sorting. When the items, when more, more than 41 items go through here, it sends out a bigger output, So which is collected by these repeaters. I'll go through that in a minute. It goes through this repeater and the diamonds will go down here because it's unpowering this redstone torch. And then you'll get your diamonds in here. As you can see, I've tested it quite a lot, so there's a lot of diamonds in here. So that's how the system works. Okay, so now onto the next bit. So here is two hoppers here. So this is gonna count how many items are actually going through the system here. So I've got 14 here. That's how much this pig egg's worth. I did show off here that pig egg, it shows 14 diamonds. So it's worth 14 diamonds. That's why there's 14 items in here. Now you can put as many items as you want. You can even fill this whole thing up with items. So. 5 times 64, so you can have that many sort of items in here. So if I'm correct, 5 times 60, so if we do that first, so 5 times 60, that is, that is 30, 300, so, and then we add to 320, because you're doing 5 times 4, so that's equals 20, so it can hold around 320 items in that hopper. So you can do an item that's worth 320 diamonds 
or 320 diamond blocks, or even 320 netherite blocks, whatever you're using as your currency, or even emerald blocks if you want to. So this machine's quite cool, but the one issue, one downside is you can't do any items that are lower than 5 diamonds or 5 of your currency, otherwise the machine doesn't work because of the timings. It will cause a bit, bit of problems with the timings and the machine won't be able to process that. And that's because it's tileable, so if it wasn't tileable then you could you could overcome that problem. But I wanted to make it tileable because it would be cooler. So that's why you get that problem. So if you want to do a smaller version that does less items, you're probably going to have to look for like a non-tileable version. So you can try and find that sort of thing. So now on to the next part of the machine, so once that's... I've got this little system here, so when you've got an output out of this bit, you'll bud power this, so you need to sort of get a block up data, so that's why I've got this system here, so it unpowers and depowers this hopper, so it kind of updates the piston, so it moves and it retracts and pushes, so now you get an output through here, you also get an output up here, and what this system is essentially doing is, it's waiting for this output to come through, and once you've got that, this piston will extend and you'll get power through here. And then once this is off, it'll turn that off, it keeps this piston on, and then this piston will track back, and then you get an output through here, and then these, this piston here will move forward. Now this won't affect this at all, this is just, it may look like it's part of this, but it's not. It's completely separate, it's only for this output here. You get an output through here and through these droppers, drop all the items. Now use droppers, don't use dispensers, don't you do that, like silly mistake. So now that's pretty much it for the ex explanation. Now I'm going to go on to this tutorial, so get your blocks ready. You know how this system works, I don't really need to explain it. So get ready. So first you want to find an area for this build, so it can be anywhere. Try and build it in like somewhere where people will actually go to it, because like you don't want no one using it. Because you won't make any like diamonds or anything, or whatever your currency is. So find a nice area for it, so first this is the torch bit, so this is the top bit here, so I'm going to be making that system first and then move on to that bit after. So first you're going to place a torch here, then a dropper facing downwards, and then also a hopper in here. So we're going to be making the first system, now we're going to place a block here, and a redstone torch like that. Then we're going to place a lamp here, a sticky piston up here. And then we can place sort of like a, if I go up here like that, some temp blocks, and then a repeater. And then we want to get a block down here, so, and another repeater on four ticks. So this one's on one tick, so leave that alone. Put this on four ticks, make sure that is on four ticks anyway. Now another block here, so you can get your app output from here. Then you're going to need a dropper, another dropper, and then a hopper and you're going to need a comparator facing outwards, like that. Now we're going to get a observer, so I haven't got my observer out. So we're going to need to put one here, temp block here, and that will happen, that's just better, I'm just going to move it back. Now we're going to get a fence. Oh, actually, there's no point in moving that back. So let's place our lamp back here, you should have this sort of set up here. Now, get a sticky piston, place it down like this, place a block here, and then go down, redstone torch like that, and we'll have this sort of simple setup. So now we're going to place a block here, a repeater here, you don't have to do anything with that, a, another piston here, a block here, and then a block down here and then a redstone torch here. So now we're going to put an item in this section here and you should see it go like this. So in this form the redstone lamp should be in here. So make sure when these pistons are out like that put the redstone torch up, redstone lamp up here. So make sure that is in place like that. And then the last thing we'll need is a button and I still haven't got a button. Yikes. There we go, got a button. Now we can just place a button here, and then I'll show you here the machine working, so... So I'll put the... So as you can see it's outputting through here. 
nothing's coming out, and then when I press this button, stuff will come out. So it's this nice, simple machine, and that also shows the state of it too, which is quite useful. Now I'm going to move on to the next bit. Now, get a barrel. So you can use a barrel or a chest, it doesn't really matter too much, as they both pretty much do the same thing. And just put it there, it can be a barrel or a chest, like I said. Um, get some blocks here. Face a hopper into here. Place a block down here, like that. And you'll have this little setup here. It needs to be facing into here, otherwise it won't work. That's how item sorters work. Then we're going to get some redstone, so I haven't got any redstone, so I'll get some. Placing the redstone down here. And here. So this is how the item sorter works, it's actually really simple. So now get a repeater, place it into here. A block, a redstone torch, and that's your simple item sorter. So now I'm going to get some hoppers. Go down here, like that. And you'll have this sort of set up here. So we'll have hoppers going across here. So now I'm going to get a barrel. Why am I placing it there? So I'll get rid of this hopper. Of course, I'm breaking everything. So now I'll place a block here. I'm going to replace everything like that. So that's what yours should look like. So we're going down across here, and your barrel should be here. Now, if you're having them across, you're just going to place loads of hoppers across like that. And you have them like this. So make sure they're like that if you're placing more than one of these. Now, on to the next part. So now we're going to get a block. So place it here. So we're placing a block here. Then we're going to get a repeater. Now the next part is a bit odd, but I'm going to do it, do it just to show it. So if I get some diamonds, and I'll place them in my inventory. So now when I go through here, so if I get rid of get the item source already, so and then put the diamonds in. Now you should get this sort of setup here. So once the diamonds have finished going through, so you don't have to wait for this bit here. So 41. Now what we need to do is go back up here, place your diamonds in, and as you can see, it will be flashing like that. So now do this, and it will stop flashing. You have to do that bit, otherwise it won't work. That's very important, just saying. Now get a piston, place it like this. It can be a sticky piston. Don't use a normal piston. Then you'll have this sort of setup here. Get some hoppers. Put them in place like that. And then that's, your, that's pretty much this setup here. So it's like a hopper, sort of clock sort of thing. It's similar to that sort of setup. Then place a comparator into here. And then we'll also be placing another comparator on the other side. And we'll have this sort of setup here. So now we're going to place a hopper down here. And then we'll have like a sort of a piston here. So if I place a sticky piston here. And a redstone block. And then we need to update this. So not like a Minecraft update, but like more of you're just making sure that these, this block will work. So, if you don't understand how the updating system is, so we put a block on the top of here. So if I turn this off, so and then I'll take one out. See, it won't update. I have to put a block here or just update it using a hopper. So I put an item in here. It won't update. So I have to put a block here or unpower and depower hopper. So that's what this system does, it just updates the system, which is very important. Now if I put some observers across here, it will update the system. This is exactly what you want, so that's how this updating sort of thing works. Now on to the next part, which uses quite a few repeaters, so make sure you have all those repeaters. So now I'll place some blocks down here. So we're going to be placing the area for the repeaters, so Place one repeater. This is a normal repeater. Don't mess with any any of that sort of stuff. Don't click on it like this. Now place a block here. A resin torch. If that's on, then that's fine. Now a piston. A sticky piston, actually. So you have that sort of thing here. So just for the sake of this, I'm going to put an item in here. Just to make it more realistic to that. So you can put an item in here if you want. It doesn't really matter too much, but it just makes it a bit easier. So now I'm going to put some blocks across here, and a repeater here, a normal repeater. Now the next repeater it has to be on one tick, two ticks, so like that. Put a block up here, another repeater, 
this needs to be on four ticks so make sure that's on four ticks now on to the next bit so get some smooth stone or whatever the block you're using place repeaters across here so these are all normal repeaters I know it's a lot of repeaters but you need all of these otherwise the machine won't work that well now place a block up here and a redstone torch like that then we're going to put a sticky piston here and the block here so we're using the same sort of thing where this gets powered and everything like that can't do that there as there's not enough space so when there is space we always do that so now we're going to get a block here we're going to get another repeater put that on four ticks like that another block here and then a block here redstone torch here redstone torch here and then a block up here another redstone torch I know it's a lot of them now a sticky piston let's try and fit this on here and put a block here a redstone block actually now you could if you wanted to just well actually you couldn't actually because of this redstone torch so don't worry so now we're going to go across here like that you can break this block if you want now we're going to get some repeaters across here no more repeaters don't mess with them and then we're going to get some blocks and we're going to get a redstone torch here and a redstone torch here so I'm going to move this back like that and you'll have this sort of thing here now if you want to you can have whatever you want you can have like a piston don't use a sticky piston otherwise it'll grab this and you don't want that to happen otherwise they'll be getting more than one more, more items than they need now I'm putting observer here now I'm going to get a fence gate because they, they use less observers it means you don't have to use as many place one here place another observer on top so this is like a basic setup so this is where your output will be going you can do whatever you want with this so you can use a normal block so I'll just quickly get this so I'm doing the same sort of setup as that up there you can take an observer reading out of that a sticky piston so I'll get that right there and then a resin block here and then you can have your dropper here so that's pretty much the system done it's quite simple actually if you think about it but you might not think that so it doesn't really matter so that's the system done now for this bit here you can change it up make it how you want this only dispenses one item if you want more than item more than one item dispense then you're gonna have to do a bit of tweaking with that maybe you have like a piston which goes up and down with like two observers that sort of setup there you can use that if you want but it doesn't really matter because it's mainly based for like more expensive items and you will only be dispensing one of them so that's for this sort of setup here so that's the whole tutorial done so I hope you found this video useful and also enjoyed this tutorial and the explanation if you want to you can subscribe but I really don't mind because I just do this for fun so like this is my hobby at the moment because like I don't really have too many at the moment so if you want to you can but I really don't mind I'm approaching quite close to a thousand subscribers so why by the time I get there there'll be like a special surprise I'm going to be doing something something quite quite exciting so if you want to go check that out or help me get a bit closer to that you can subscribe I really don't mind so I'll see you in the next video if you're going to watch any more of my videos there will be some end screens popping up so if you're interested in any more of my videos some of the best ones will be popping up there so you can go check them out and I'll see you in the next video if you're watching any more goodbye